Hello everyone, it's Lynn! And today I will be painting, and you'll be seeing only my hands and not my face. Hopefully I won't get any weird DMs from Twitter asking for hand pics after this video. But I'll start off with my supplies, which I have some paint brushes, a paint palette, my gouache paint. Using our lamp black, burnt sienna, sap green, cerulean blue, prussian blue, yellow ochre, and titanium white. And vermilion! Along with that, I have my watercolor pad, a paper towel for dabbing your paintbrushes and on them haters, and some music, because I like to listen to music when I paint. And without further ado, let's hop right on into it. Look at to start off, we're gonna wash tape the edges, because those edges are gonna be clean and snatched after we're done with this painting. Then I'm gonna dab all my paints and mix them and have them ready for painting and do a little sketch. I'll be using a photo I took last fall in New York City of Brooklyn and I'll be taking a more summery take on it. So I'm gonna use more saturated colors and have a little bit more of a green tint versus a magenta tint. And to begin, I'll be laying down the base colors. This is only my third time using gouache as medium, so I'm still trying to work out how it functions and all its kinks. So don't take my technique as the law, I'm still very much an amateur. I'm using a finer brush to do the buildings here with a burnt sienna color, very lightly as you can see. And here, I'm going in with a little bit more saturated colors to outline all the buildings so they stand out against the sky. And you might be thinking, Lynn, those buildings are tilted, and you're not wrong. It's probably because I painted this from an angle, which I shouldn't have. I should have painted it straight on. But you know what? Those tilted buildings, it's what gives this painting personality, you know? A little bit of life, a little bit of uniqueness, some grittiness, some spunk. So don't hate on my tilted buildings. They're cool, yo. And then I'll be mixing red and blue to make a very deep dark purple to do the shadows. And then we're gonna be using a finer brush. Ooh, look at that autofocus. All beauty gurus are quaking. And then I'm gonna go in with highlights. And now to focus more on color, I'm taking this aquamarine cerulean color to add a little bit more detail into the shadows and the buildings. And then I'm taking my fat brush once again and I'm going in and deepening the colors of the photo. I decided I wanted to saturate the sky a little bit more and then I'm adding the detail to the ocean so it looks more like an ocean. And dab dab dabbing on the clouds. One of the great things about gouache is that it's really forgiving so you can see here I went in a little bit too dark on the clouds but with a little bit of water you can just desaturate it and dilute it so it's a little bit softer and really easy to work with when you need to make changes. Now for the finer details, I have no idea how to do water properly, so I'm just drawing a bunch of lines and hoping it looks good. It looks fine, doesn't look the best, but you know what, we're gonna go with it. And then I'm adding the details to the edges right here. There's a dock that I want to highlight a little bit more, so I'm going in with a deeper brown. And 
And then finally, I'm doing the little added details on the buildings and just going in and drawing some windows and adding a little bit more texture. And then for the very final thing, the moon. There's a little moon and I think it was a waning gibbous when I took that photo. And now we have reached the best part, the unpeeling. There is nothing more satisfying than peeling off tape and seeing perfectly clean edges. And that is my painting, a summer take on Brooklyn, entering the sunset with the moon in the sky and the buildings. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this little speed paint with gouache. It's been one of my favorite mediums to work with. Also, thank you for 200K. That's wild. I don't even know what to say. I never thought I'd be here. And I appreciate all you guys sticking around and watching me make my little videos in this hole of the internet. And I appreciate and love all you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.